Hello, this is Dylan from PWS. Today we're going to show you how to build a new procedure using your SAX 200 power supply. To begin creating a new program in your SAX 200 power supply, you will first want to start in the Home or Index screen. Next, we will press the Program button. In this menu, we can add, modify, copy, erase, or print a program. To continue with creating a new program, we select the Add icon. Once in the Add screen, we have the option to add to pre-existing parameters. To do this, select one of the alternating number icons that already has the desired parameters. Then select one of the 10 blank text boxes in the Pass List menu. The other option we have is to set or create new parameters. To do this, Press one of the alternating number icons with no pre-existing parameter. Now we will need to fill in our parameters. We will start by selecting the desired weld head. Starting from the left and using the icons as a guide, we will select and type in our tube or pipe OD and wall thicknesses. Our next text box will allow us to choose the type of material that we are welding. After this, we will be given the option to specify our weld material. With all parameters entered, we can go to the next screen by pressing the bottom right arrow. If that arrow does not appear, a necessary parameter has not been given. Now we can choose our tube preparation. The recommended configuration icon will be blinking. Once selected, you'll have the option to manually choose the type of program you would like to create or you can create an automatic tube to tube weld procedure. If we choose to automatically create a weld procedure, then we'll have a tube to tube weld automatically put into the zero position of your pass list. And you will need to select the procedure to enter into the weld menu. If you choose to manually create your program, then you will be brought to the pass list screen with all blank text boxes. You'll have the option to choose which box you would like to create your new program in. Once you select a text box, you'll be given the option to give your newly created pass a name. You can choose from a pre-existing list of names by hitting the choice button, or you can tap on the empty text box to type in your desired name. After choosing a name, you then have the option to choose between a number of different welding modes. Fusion is pre-selected when a tube to tube weld name is given. Next, we have a pie chart icon and a number in a text box. That number indicates the number of modifiable levels in your procedure. This can be adjusted as desired. Use the bottom arrow key to modify your weld parameters and levels further. Save your procedure by holding down on the floppy disk icon in any of the various screens as you go through modifying your procedure. Once your procedure is saved, you will be taken back to the home screen. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions about Axair or the SAX 200, please reach out.